Hello and welcome back. This is going to be a quick video as I just saw this come out a few hours ago and thought it was extremely thought provoking. Have you ever wondered about what goes into a 2D illustration? Well, thanks to the work of our boy Ilias Veal and friends, creator of ControlNet among other things, we can now peer into the past of a 2D image. Enter Paints Undo, a base model of drawing behavior in digital paintings. From the project page here, you can see that an input image on the left can be unraveled into a time-lapse video as an output, but enough examples. Let's try it out. The code is at this repository and the latest update was five hours ago, so very, very recent, with already 197 stars. There are a lot of instructions here about how to set it up, what each of these parameters are, but it's just faster to show you. When you get the GUI to start up, you'll be greeted with three steps and there are example images shown here. However, of course, we want to use our own images. You might remember this image as Shipbuilder from the ControlNet video that I did a year ago and we need to generate a prompt for it using WD Tagger. The reason why is that the model is an SD 1.5 model, so we're using tags, not any of the new age COG VLM human natural language stuff. So go ahead, generate prompt, one girl solo, sure, sure. And then now, we're here at step two, generate keyframes. You might be wondering why there are so many values here. So 400, 600, 800, et cetera, et cetera. The reason why is if you go to the repository and look at this part, they basically represent how many times you control Z on an image. So this one would be 400 control Zs, 600 control Zs, but let's just go ahead and run it for now. I wanna show you what happens. We should get six keyframes because there are six numbers here. So we run this and we have eight keyframes. If we just change this to a single number, if we just did maybe control Z a hundred like that, we should only get one. And yes, see, we have this and then this and then blank page. So let's go back and just use what the default settings gave us. And now that we have all our keyframes, we go into the second stage, which is doing paint undo multi-frame using all of the frames from paints undo single frame. So let's go ahead and run it. It's finished now and the video is illustrating the history in this inherent illustration to the best of its ability. And we have all the frames here, something like that. You might think to yourself, this is too good to be true. Well, it's not without its faults. This is a more illustration style thing that I did, but how does it fare on a more realistic illustration? Let's try with something else. This one, Fleet City, and generate the prompt. I'll change a little bit about this. She's not wearing a white dress, but red hoodie, desaturated skirt. And I'll also add a few more keyframes here, if possible. I deleted all the increments here and I want to set my own. Okay, and let's see what that gives us now. All right, a lot more stuff here. Oh, that looks pretty nice. So it doesn't really capture the character that well, but we are getting some of this flat albedo color. But we can try this out and see what it gives us. It's finished, and now we have the video going. This is very interesting. It's very cool. Kind of reminds me of the construction of a city from the ground up. On a surface level, you might think that this is a great tool to show off to people that say, oh, prove that you drew this. You can't, especially if it's an AI generated image. Well, I guess now you can prove it. However, as I said, this is an extremely shallow view. I think the real value here is retracing the time steps of an image, whether it be created by AI or humans. Literally, one once this technology is more mature, you can acquire the history of an image and go back and explore plenty of rough ideas that the model had during the denoising process. For example, the last video I made about high resolution in painting had a really rough illustration for the thumbnail. I wasn't super happy about it, but I thought I had a lot of good ideas in it. With the help of this tool, I can go back and see where I can restart from or think about my mistakes. So let's try that. I've uploaded my illustration here or part of it. Now generating the prompt. Sure, why not? And just go back to default settings once again. Okay, let's see. It's done and this is what it looks like. It's actually starting from a different angle, which is very interesting. Not bad, not bad. One thing I've noticed so far is it likes to darken vignette and then suddenly lighten it. Very interesting, very interesting. So that's it from me. This is extremely exciting because I always want to see what I could have done differently and this tool helps me see the potential ideas and pathways I could have taken instead. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time, hopefully in the SD3 training video. Bye!